уже Britain is considering its own proposals for the destruction of Russian military facilities deep in the territory of the Russian Federation as part of the Victory Plan. As the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Alexander Sirsky, reported, he had a telephone conversation with the Chief of the Defence Staff of Great Britain, Admiral Sir Tony Radakin, during which he informed him about the situation at the front. During the conversation, they discussed strikes on Russian military facilities. Separately, we discussed the possibilities of hitting the enemy's military targets in operational and strategic depth. The British side is currently working on its own proposals to implement this victory plan, Sirsky said. Sirsky also drew the attention of the British side to violations of international humanitarian law by Russia, war crimes and attacks on critical infrastructure of Ukraine, as well as massive bombing of civilian objects. According to Sirsky, the key areas of cooperation between Ukraine and Britain are the supply of military equipment, training of personnel, and increasing the efficiency of the use of high-tech weapons. Recently, the USA had a telephone conversation with the chief of the defense staff of Great Britain, during which the possibility of strikes on the Russian Federation is discussed. Ukraine has the right to defend itself against Russian aggression, which includes strikes on legitimate targets located within Russian territory, according to former NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. We are having debates on this matter among allies, but we must always be aware that this is a brutal war, a blatant violation of all international rules and an attempt by Russia to establish control over Ukraine. Ukraine has the right to defend itself. This right includes attacking legitimate military targets on Russian territory, he said. According to Stoltenberg, Russia should not deceive Ukraine's Western partners with threats. From the very beginning, Russia has claimed that Western arms supplies are unacceptable. But we delivered arms. We cannot stop our support because of Russian threats, the former NATO Secretary General said. For several months, Ukraine has been seeking permission from its Western partners to strike deep into Russian territory with foreign weapons. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has consistently emphasized the need for long-range capabilities. Russian President Vladimir Putin's current theory of victory in Ukraine is aimed at prolonging the fighting. He assumes that his occupying forces can outlast Western support for the Ukrainian armed forces and crush their resistance, winning a war of attrition. This is what analysts at the Institute for the Study of War ISW have pointed out. According to them, Russia will face serious medium and long-term constraints that will undermine these strategic efforts of the aggressor. It is noted that the Kremlin has ordered its army to conduct a year-long offensive along the front line in eastern and northeastern Ukraine. They are aimed at depleting the defense forces and preventing Kiev from accumulating the necessary manpower 
and material resources to conduct counter-offensive operations that contradict the Russian Federation's Common Front initiative. Putin and the Russian military command likely view maintaining the All Front initiative as a strategic priority. They have shown themselves tolerant of protracted offensive operations that result in gradual, slow progress, far from their intended operational objectives. ISW assessed the aggressor's intentions. They explained that the Russian military is currently trying to eliminate the challenge to its initiative in the theater of military operations in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation following the Ukrainian offensive in early August 2024, while simultaneously maintaining offensive pressure in eastern Ukraine to achieve long-term operational goals. The intensified offensive of the Russian troops in the summer of 2024 to capture Pokrovsk and reduce the wider Ukrainian salient in the west of Donetsk region, experts believe, will reach its culmination in the coming months. Although it is possible that the command of the occupiers will continue to involve them in the general strategic efforts to maintain the initiative on the front line and exhaust the Ukrainian armed forces far beyond this point of operational culmination, regardless of the state of their combat capability. The victory theory of Putin's is based on the Russian armed forces conducting successive offensives over an indefinite period of time, but such attritional attacks will significantly weaken Russia's available manpower and material resources, so Russian forces will have to slow down the pace of the offensive at least in certain parts of the front, which will give the Ukrainian armed forces the opportunity to contest and possibly seize the initiative on the battlefield in these areas. ISW analysts expressed their conviction.